So good morning, uh, this is Eagle Steve giving you an update of what we're working on right now. Uh, we're taking old used uh, light fixtures, uh, the 2x4 type that you would see uh, on ceilings and whatnot, and we're taking out all of the uh, fluorescent components, the ballasts and everything else. So we're going to insulate it, uh, put metal corrugated uh, um, sheet metal inside, inside paint it black, insulate it, put glazing on the top and then pipe it into the house. So I've sealed the corners there, as you can see, with some uh, caulking. And that's to stop some airflow out of there. I just patched all the uh, holes in all the light fixtures, just with the aluminum tape stuff that you would use on your uh, duct work in the house. Then we'll put glazing over top, and then we'll mount them on the wall, and we'll be kicking out a bunch. So we, here we have the foam board. It has uh, aluminum tape uh, facing on both sides and foam on the inside. So basically, I've uh, just lined the 2 by 4 foot uh, um, light fixture frame with the uh, insulation and next step is going to be to tape all the edges to seal them all up nice and there. Aluminum uh, backed uh, foam board. Cut all the holes out. So we got uh, three here, one here, three here and one more over here. This one's just uh, drying a little bit more and it's ready for the glass to be on top. And uh, basically uh, once we get it all assembled we'll uh, show you what it's like. So don't mind that. Hit. So here we have uh, one of the uh, solar hydro collectors, um, just uh, painted all flat black. And it looks shiny right now, but it's gonna be flat black. Again, you want to pick flat black because you want it to absorb the sun, not reflect it in any way. So in just a moment, uh, I'll show you uh, how to install the uh, the vent holes, right? Uh, all right. So here's how we uh, are going to be making the vent holes. Basically, uh, there, these are two unions that you would uh, find in the hardware store. So I'm going to cut a piece uh, for my situation here. Um, the piece that I'm cutting off the ABS pipe is uh, two and a half inches. Okay, so um, a bits for in there, bits for in there, and then I'm going to glue them together. So it's going to sandwich it together like that. So after I put the glass on top, basically um, when I want to install it at home, I'll have the exact um, measurement that I can actually drill holes through the house and vent it into the ABS and glue it all in. Okay, so basically, if you're not aware, you can uh, basically cut uh, ABS pipe just with a uh, hacksaw. Right, so you just measure it off, two and a half. Right, just try and keep it nice and straight when you're cutting through because you want to try and uh, maximize all your pieces, right? So you basically just give it a quick little mark there and just cut through. So this is a hacksaw blade that's fine, a uh, fine hacksaw blade with slice right through it like butter. Okay, just clean up any of the burrs on the outside. So basically, one piece is going to go in here, one piece is going to go in here, and it's going to sandwich together inside the solar hair collector, right? Now, they do fit in there pretty tight but I would suggest using some uh, ABS glue, okay? Just so that you, you make sure that there's a nice solid connection there, right? So, because you're gonna be forcing it to the, through the wall or whatnot, you don't want anything to move at all. So all you do is take a little bit of the ABS glue, coat the inside of one of the fittings. Now, uh, this glue stays pretty pliable until it makes contact with the ABS, right? So also, you wanna get a hammer Right, so after you, after you get together again, you have to work fast and just give it a tap. Right, so right now, that's rock solid. You came and pry that apart. Okay, so the next part will be uh, installing it into the solar air collector. Right, make sure you have your hammer and everything else ready to go because once you get the glue on there, you put it together, you gotta tap fast because you don't have much time. Okay, so I'll show you in a second how to do that. All right, so now you got your two pieces with your glue on there. Again, you need to work fast. And you just put it on there and push. Hold it for a second. And it's locked in there. Nice and solid. Now, I just painted the surface there, so I wanted to get it in there as soon as possible so that the glue is actually gonna help it move, stop from moving around too. So you're gonna have to glue rather the, uh, the paint from moving around. So, that's all there is to the vent hole. Uh, I think this was 39 cents each and a big stick of uh, ABS pipe, uh, two inch was, uh, I think it was six bucks or whatnot, right? So basically that's the vent hole there. And uh, again, on the other side, when they're hooked up to the house, 
I'll be venting it in with two inch uh, ABS throughout with forced air. So, this should be pretty good. There you go. All right, so uh, here's the painted uh, piece of uh, siding, corrugated siding you would find on industrial buildings and whatnot. These are all scrap pieces they were throwing out. So basically, I'm just gonna center it here inside of the solar hot air collector, right? Give it enough space in the bottom and the top. Uh, then what I'm going to do is uh, put screws, uh, about four screws, in uh, there, there, here, and here, just to hold that in place, right? So because there's actually going to be airflow in here now, see, because solar air collectors, um, he's going to be going through there and up. Um, here, here is the vent holes. So this is where the four stairs going to be uh, coming out of. So basically, um, this will slow it down, the airflow. Uh, and also when the sun comes up, <clears throat> remember these are going to be standing up in their ends. So when the sun comes up in the morning, it's going to hit the side of the baffles and the front. So it's going to warm it up. So as it tracks across the sky, it will always stay concentrated, right? So there you go. And again, flat back on the sides. Uh, some people have asked me why I painted the sides here black instead of, uh, you know, keeping them in aluminum so it's reflective. So people said that the uh, sun would hit there and reflect off into there. I want to seal every little nook and cranny, right? And also, uh, my thought is that, you know what? I want that to be attractive as well. I, want, I don't want anything to be reflecting out of the box. I don't want to lose any potential heat out of the box. And then we're going to put some glass on. I wanted to make a note. Um, the reason why I didn't paint the foam on the outside here is I wanted to give myself a little bit extra uh, in order to put the caulk into it here too. So it's going to uh, actually adhere to the, to the foam as well as the metal here. Now these pieces of foam are tucked underneath the lip all the way around. So once I caulk it uh, to the glass, it's going to keep it uh, the integrity of the entire unit. It'll be nice and rigid and it gives it more uh, um, uh, stick, right? So I'm also going to be putting some uh, vinyl tape over top of the outside just to seal it off and then I'm going to get a final paint all the way around. That way it's all nice and sealed and there's not going to be any moisture getting in there at all. Okay, so there you go. Just a little tip. You just take your uh, glass cutter, right? Make sure you wear safety glasses, safety gloves. Make sure you're all protected because you never know when the <laughs> access might happen. And I'm going to score it across here. You want to have a consistent sound, right? So you actually go here, I go. If you have to pause, keep the even pressure on it. <clears throat> so there we go. That's the part there. So, of course, I had that veer off there at the end, so we'll see what happens now. So you just give it a quick tap, make sure your assistant turns his head, so he doesn't get the glass in the head. And you do a little tap here, and it pops right under the three. <laughs> yeah, really, yeah. I, I'll, I'll take the small piece. Yes, I think so. <laughs> Watch me step off something, eh? Is that bird food? Sorry. Yeah, it tastes like bird food. Fresh. Fresh. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wouldn't have sampled it. <laughs> so, do not sample bird poop. Do not look up in the sky with your mouth open. So, give the glass a good clean because this is your last chance before you seal it. Is it mine or yours? Not so much. Yeah. So, I'm going to. We're in a second. So, we're over. Don't be shy with the paper towel. Clean it. Don't use one sheet to do all 14 solar hot air collectors. I'm not recording right now, just in case you're wondering what I'm talking. Mm -hmm. That yeah, stays right, right? Ooh, no. And you should be wearing gloves. Yeah. You okay there? Yeah, you can use them. 
Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. First aid kit. I'll pause it. All right, so I'm just running a bead of caulking around the solar hot air collector. Just finishing off this bead here. And you want to put a generous amount. Now, I'm going to be playing some vinyl tape around the outside here. So the part where it's white, uh, the exposed foam, is going to be squashed between the glass and the solar hot air collector. So basically, the uh, vinyl tape is going to cover up any of this uh, unsightly stuff. So please forgive me for my uh, you know, psychotic kind of caulking job here. It's, uh, and uh, I'm just going to finish off down here. When you're uh, done at the end of the uh, caulking gun, just let up a little easy. Then it would just squirrel slowly, and that way you're not spraying all over the place and dripping on the floor and on the shoes and stuff. So when you get to the end, just pop the little release there. That way you'll have stuff squirting out here all over the place, make it more of a mess. Okay, so what I'm going to do is place on the glass on top. So I have a small little glass uh, piece here that goes on the end. This one here, uh, no. Always make sure you clean it very, very thoroughly, both sides, because it's your last chance to clean the inside before you seal it forever. Right? So, just put the piece of glass on there, and try not to move it around too much, because you don't want to squirt it into the pane, uh, division pane in here. So, put the other one on there. And I'm going to push it down to the end here and slowly squish it into place there and drop it in. A little more view of what we're doing here. So this vinyl tape, we're putting on just on the perimeter in there. You get it? That's okay. Push it back together again in a second. Again, with any of these projects, be forgiving with yourself. Don't be too uh, hard on yourself if everything's not perfect. Remember, this thing isn't beautiful looking anyway, so it's not like you're uh, going to be on a showcase or any of that. But hey, keep it looking as good as possible. Be careful in the corner. So here's where the solar hot air collector is going to be installed. Uh, basically, I've sealed up these uh, old window panes here from the inside with the same aluminum uh, backed uh, foam board that I used to make the solar hot air collectors. As you can see, they're uh, on the inside of this thing here. Now behind this room here is our library. Okay, so basically the entire uh, behind the bookcases, I'm pulling that out. And then I'm going to run a manifold system with the ABS pl uh, plumbing pipe uh, to each other for the top and bottom. For the forced air in at the bottom and the hot air out at the top is going to be vented into various rooms. So, as you can see, that's what it looks like there. Uh, these are the six uh, solar hot air collectors uh, that we've completed. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six way down there. So these five here are going to be going up in this section here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole through the existing frame here on the house at the very, very bottom here. I'm going to drill a hole through there. And then I'm going to remove the top pane out of there insert some foam board as a little sealer there and I'm going to drill through with a hole saw for the ABS for the top and bottom parts there it's going to be drilled right through the bottom here in there or through the foam board for the top and bottom and then I'm going to caulk around the seal on the uh, inside both on the um, wood frame here and on the foam board on the inside. On the inside of the house, that's where the manifold system is going to be for the forced air. So, that's what it looks like right now.